y'all. Welcome back. Random TV reviews. Your girl and I. And your boy. <laughs> Then last. Are we coming in today with power? What was the name of it? Happy birthday. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get the YouTube stuff out the way. If you're not a, a family member or subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. At this Indeed. point, it doesn't even matter because you're already here. But into exactly. who? Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. That we got an episode that didn't have 50 million alum people yeah. in here. I know y'all get on us because we mess up people's names and all that bullshit. But let me tell y'all the, yeah. the basis of our channel real quick. And we done told y'all this once before. And we only tell you one more again. <laughs> God darn it. We watch and we record. Exactly. We don't do no extra research. We don't go on Twitter trying to figure out what the nope. writer said. We don't even follow them people. All that good stuff. So it's really us having a conversation with the fam, with y'all, yeah, in the comment section, and we will get some names wrong. Yeah. Because guess what? I hardly know the names of our family members. Man. I give them nicknames just so I can remember their names. Man, skid. I greatly say people. Yeah, people at my job. People. I don't uh, know people. I, yeah, I mess people name all the time. That's, that's that's the way we do it. Because we almost hitting that forty age group. Yeah. The mind don't work like it used to. Huh? But if that's you know, if y'all want somebody that's going to be perfect on everything and every detail, we ain't going to be a couple We ain't going to be the one. You got to go to a whole other channel for that. Um, If you want a refund, go ahead and try to get that <laughs> refund. You know, we we'll give you a free 99 back. Yeah, we'll give you a free 99 back. <laughs> but uh, just go ahead and put that out there. Y'all know yeah. that we keep it light. We keep it cool over here. Yeah, we all about good vibes yeah. over here and having some fun. That's it. That's it. Because at the end of the day, when this becomes a job, yeah, somebody needs to run cut, me my money. Cut the camera off. Shut down YouTube. And we going but I've been. Hello. So, all right, you go ahead and take this day going thing away and I'll add live as I need to. All right, sound good to me. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> so, we start the episode off. We see uh, Tommy and Sammy at this bar because Vince invited them over there for a meeting. Mm -hmm. So, they trying to figure out what it is. He's like, oh, Sam was like, I don't know what this is about. But I think they knew what it was about. You knew it was going to be good. So, hey, come Vince come walking in there. He was like, you know, giving a little hugs and stuff. You know how you do when you get ready to scold somebody. You don't want to come off right off letting them mm -hmm. know that you about ready to put them down. Hmm. So, Sammy said, I've been doing some thinking about that shooting. Something just ain't right. Like the song says, something, something just ain't right. And my spirit won't <laughs> let me rest. So, he said... You told me that the situation was handled, but I couldn't find out that it wasn't handled. Mm -hmm. and, and you know who that little Tweety Bird was? Yup. Dre. As I mean, that, not Dre. Dre Kane. Kane. Yep. So, you didn't handle it. So, in other words, we need to handle y'all. So, he tells Teresa, here's the gun. I need you to pick one. Because now, you brought them to. Because you brought them to. They're your it's, people. Yep. That's your family right there. Basically, <laughs> like when a pit bull turns on his owner. Yep. That's your dog. As you, you take it all down. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, dang. It's like that. That bitch. puts Teresi in a bad situation. This is his son, and this is his best friend. Who you gonna shoot? Which we already knew exactly what he was gonna do. So he pulled the trigger on Sammy. Because you know he wasn't about to pull the trigger on uh, Tommy. Because that's his meal ticket right now. That's his meal ticket out of jail so he could be with Karen. But What's guess what? Is it Karen? His wife is Karen, ain't it? Is it Karen? I think it's Karen. Oh, Connie. 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 I'm sorry. We got it right. It's Connie. Not Karen. Connie. So, go ahead. Stop, yeah, uh -huh. stop typing. Don't type. Take it back. Delete. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> so, the gun was empty. Play a little Russian roulette. That, Russian roulette. Russian <laughs> roulette on them. Except for they didn't spin the bottle. They just didn't put the bullets in there. So, that shook them up. And so, both of them got fired. So, Tommy ain't got no job. Teresa ain't got no job. And, and Sammy, Sammy ain't got, got no, no job. job. So Teresa gets in the car and like, you know what, man, you know, I apologize for what went down in there. You know, I didn't want to shoot you, but you know, when I got the gun, the gun was real light, so I knew the bullets weren't in there. Whatever. And that's a Sammy. So you just gonna take that as yeah. a great explanation to put a gun to your head and yeah. rock it. And he with pulled you. the trigger. It, and he said, But you just you just you just met him. I'm basically, I'd be your best friend your yeah, whole, whole, whole life. life. Yeah, you just met him. But Sammy said, you know what? I don't give a buck about none of that. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to eat. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this out there. See, this this is a problem we have yeah. with drug dealers, period. Why is it that one transaction will mess your freaking life up? Y'all yeah. ain't been stacking money all these years. Yeah. You ought to have a little bit of bread somewhere. 
Not I, in the bank, but I need somebody's mattress or let your grandma house. Job. Yeah, see, my grandma used to keep her money in her in her bathrobe in the closet. What? Yeah. I ain't say you nothing about that. Mm -hmm. We go ask grandma for some money. She go in there and slide that closet back, reach way in the back, and pull it back, and reach in the pocket, and then um, got the on um, rope, and give us some money out there. We never steal from her, though. I would never did that. No. But we knew what it was at, though. We knew where she was going to retrieve that money. I said, Lord, I said, okay, Salmon, you ain't got no money, Stash. You ain't got no money. You almost got shot by your best friend that said that he, <laughs> he, the he weight knew was off. the weight was off on the gun, whatever. Whatever, whatever. You just trying to get your meal ticket. So, we see Tommy back at his apartment. He going crazy. He was like, man, I almost got shot. No, he said, matter of fact, Sammy got shot, but but he didn't get shot. So, Kanan was like, what, what the hell? Did he get shot or not? He's like, but the bullets weren't in the gun. You know, when Tom get all wired up, he just talk out his head and don't know what the fuck he talking about. Tommy's um, acting was off for me this um, episode. I you was think like, so? Yeah. Maybe because Kendrick came through. <laughs> And stole the goddamn shop. So, Tommy was like, you know what? That's it. We got to go kill Dre. We got to kill Dre today. Not today. 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 So, Ghost was like, no. We can't do that. He is a part of this uh, Queen's, Child. Queen's Child project. He's a public figure now. Tate knows that I don't want him a part of this. So, if we kill him, he gonna know all three of us did it. Which is so true. But check this out. This is the part that had me laughing. When Tommy was going on a rant about everything that was happening, he said, dudes roll up, <laughs> shot Vincent. <laughs> and Ghost said, and Kanan was like, huh? Like, you But you know, know he did it. <laughs> and he was like, then this happened? And he got the gun drawn on him? And he's like. But, but you know what? <laughs> Kanan came to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody looking at each other like, and I say, y'all don't see Kaden over there just making boss moves. Yep, playing chess like we said last week, and y'all don't even see. Y'all don't even catch it. Yep. So, Ghost gives China, give Tommy the clean check because you know he running money back to the club again, so he can have clean money. And um, and they beefing. Yeah, and they beefing because he was like, you know, after all this gets settled, you know, you can get out of my life, and I'm out your life. And Ghost was like, that's bullshit, because you know Tommy's always going to want to come back mm -hmm. for he some help. Tommy that. need him, for real, for real. So when Ghost leave, hey, come Kanan, um, no, we need to go ahead and take care of this. Because um, Ghost make it look like you can't do nothing without him, you know, playing on his ego. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you can do this. So what we can do is, I learned that Crystal Ball and Drake have been beefing. So what we can do is we can beef up that beef. So Drake can get thrown out of the organization and say, hey, come to chess move again. And then when you want to talk about, when you want to deal with the Jimenez, call me. Call me. So, so then, nobody's questioning this. Exactly. I was like, first thing I would have been like, how, how do you know, you all, know this? all this information? That's what I would have said. Yeah, how do you know, how you know all this? So the only way you can get that, you got to be real close to your ear on the ground, close to those people to mm -hmm. find that information out. But anyway, so then we come to our favorite part of the episode. Got Don Kane was coming out to the, got the corner stove. With his leather jacket on. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Heck up, crackhead Kendrick Lamar, boy. I said, how did they make him a, a Spanish-speaking crackhead, crackhead yeah. that was speaking knowledge and then some Volta commercials <laughs> all at the same time? <laughs> really, Kendrick? With his hair looking like... Yeah. I only had money for this half. So, yeah, but this half, I get it done this week. <laughs> but I gotta keep the, on hustling to get that side, side done. Was, this side was done last week. <laughs> I said, Kendrick. Oh my Ooh, God. That I was... holler, and I hollered and I hollered. So here he come trying to hustle some goddamn gift cards. He said, he said, you know, I got these gift cards here. I scratched out that part right there because they look a little bit better. He <laughs> said, I didn't like how the decorations look. <laughs> so but I go and say these. And he came and was like, get the heck out of my face, man. He was like, that's okay. I don't need you. I don't like your leather coat anyway. <laughs> I smell it around the corner. Around the corner. So he was like, ho, 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 wait, wait, wait. I got this for him. <laughs> that was a guy doing girls bike sitting on the corner. So you need a bike? He said, I'll give you both of them for $400. I said, all right, Craig. He you was like, I do it. You know I do it. Because I'm a crackhead. Crack <laughs> so he was like, Kendra was like, you and the Spanish people don't never want us to have nothing. And so that sparked his interest. Spanish people. He was like, I give you twenty dollars for the bike. Mm -hmm. But do you but do you know in the uh Talinos? I said it right. Ta Tainos. Tainos. And he said <laughs> I said, alright, Kendrick. So they proceeds to go around, he goes to the people, try to sell them some stuff, and then Hagum Canaan come along and sit them. This happened what, two, three times. Mm-hmm. 
So it baffled us at first. It was like, what the hell is going on? Why how is did this fit? These Spanish people. Yeah, how did this fit? And, you know, because this don't make any sense. But we thought that to what he told Tommy. If we can beef up the beef between Crystal Ball and, and Dre. Dre, they'll push him out the organization. So by him going around killing all the, because obviously these guys ain't just any old um, Spanish dudes. These are some dudes that got some rank. You know, I don't know what they rank is, but this information is definitely going to get back to Crystal Ball, which is going to. And it did. Yep. And because Crystal Ball was messed up on one part of the scene, Crystal Ball was confronting Dre, like spanking him, did that job. And pretty much, what's going on here? And Dre was like, you know, I would never did that. And you, you, you blaming them for that job? It's like blaming me because I would have sent them. And I ain't send them to go do nothing. Yeah, I ain't send them to go do nothing. And he said, first of all, the Jimenez don't want no division going on between us. So why yeah. did I do something, something like, like that? that? Exactly. He was like, uh, uh, them was not spanking two bit that's going around here shooting at Vince, and yeah. then, and I did this. So exactly, I said, oh. Here you go. Here you go. And he said, I know you're not really keen on me being your number two, but it is what it is. Yeah. He said, no, of course I'm not keen on you being my number two, but this is the car we got. Let's go ahead and deal, deal with it. it. Yeah. So, but Chris Ball still got his eye on Dre. And I said, Dre, you better watch your guy don't bag. But I'm still just trying to figure out if is one of them jokers going to figure out what Kanan is doing. Because it seems like oh, all it's of them going to be too late. Yeah, be too late by that time. So... So you look at Kane and already got Tommy thrown out of the organization. That was his goal to get Tommy thrown out from the Ita Italians. So his next step is Dre. And after that, that's it. So the, you know him in there. He got still gotta take care of them. He wanna get back on top. But we'll see how he plan on doing that. So we got an unofficial meeting with Tate, um, Dre, and uh, Simon and Ghost. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. So he tells them, say, you know. Andre, you don't call him Dre. Andre, Andre, you know, is a success story of the black community where he came from. He pulled himself up from his bootstraps, made his way to be the manager over the uh, Bassett Group Hotel First, first Night, Night Club. Club. And he suggested that we hold our last charity event here. And uh, Ghost was like, oh, oh, wait, 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 mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait. That, no, that's supposed to be at my club. Said this is a thing for my daughter. Yeah, it's for my daughter. Yeah, for him, yeah, him. And so Tate was like, Simon, what you think about it? He was like, Well, it sounds a little redundant because we already have a black. He should have got smacked for saying said, that. Go <laughs> we say already that. have a black, so this kind of redundant, which it is kind of redundant. You know, that's ghost story. So you just, just But Tate was like, Well, he's a little younger, you know, you know, they would be able to identify with him a little bit better. And then plus James got all this skit going on his life. He was like, no, I am morally invested into this. I'm here for this. No. And so Simon it, basically told him, he said, said, you um, go, go do you. Yeah. And then he looked at Ghost. The Ghost was like, you know what? I don't know how it is that he just got away with what he just did. did. Yeah. And um, he was basically looking at Stern like, I need a way to fix this. And Stern looked at him and was like, You've always managed to, to wiggle your way out of everything. You'll figure it out. Yeah. And at that moment, I said, Uh huh. Ghost what is ghost he about to do. Yep. Ghost and kick there. Cause yeah, I guess say the transformation of James to Ghost happened right there. Yep. Boom, boom. And take them gonna get up and tell me, so let me show you around and show let me you show your project wait. and all that stuff. Rubbing it in. So take me this tail cake. Then we see uh Dre Andre coming to his office. And he see Ghost and Quinn. He was like, what the hell is he doing in my office? In my office. She took it through the paper. I said, oh, Skip, what are you ready to happen now? He said, did you know that when you got a job at Truth, you signed a no-compete contract? So, at this point, we're going to have to fire you immediately. I said, now, did the Bassets know about this contract? He said, nope. Because this no-compete thing is a real big deal. Uh-huh. And they don't want no parts of it. Yep. So, you have to go. Or James has to go ahead and let it go. Yeah. James said, I'm not. <laughs> you know that ain't going to happen. let it go. You know that ain't going to happen. So and just she, like that, Andre loses a loses yeah. a job. And she said, and that charity event for the night has been canceled. Choo -choo. And Go said, you know what? It ain't a problem because um, it's going to be hosted at Truth. <laughs> and Andre and um, Tate going to end up over there. Over there at Truth. And got choked out. <clears throat> got choked out. That's a long story short. Yeah. Because he got bastard. See, Tate met Ghost 
at Truth. He sure did. That's who he met. He didn't meet James. He even had James has at been boy room. James has been patient, letting him get away with all this bullshit. But after he got some of that brown look in his system, he couldn't see. <laughs> all, everything was all discombobulated. So he even was disrespectful to the to pastor. The pastor. Was, so you knew that brown like, kicked in. He was like, Ninja, I'm not your son. <laughs> the pastor was like, like I said, if you need my counsel, counsel come on come over. Come on through. Because <laughs> I said, that brown talking right now. Yeah. So, pretty much what this episode was about, Tariq coming home. We seen Tariq in the truck with um, Ghost because he didn't want to come home. But Ghost was like, this is what we do every year. Yeah. We have this birthday party, and we have every year, and ain't about to stop now. Mm -hmm. So Tariq was like, he was like, your mama told me about the situation, uh, about all the truth that was being told about what happened. Uh, but that was your mama's side of the story. I was like, here we go with this bug skit. Can't tell these kids the truth to save our life. Mm -hmm. You want to try to, you know, he old enough to know now. And he knows that yeah, he knows Yeah, he already now. know, yeah. Cause so now we're going to tell it. He has the story mixed with evidence. Yeah. If your mama sat there and basically cleaned off the gun, did yeah. all of this, got your clothes, burned your clothes up, told exactly. you how to wash. She, that skit ain't come from nowhere. Exactly. And now that you, the mama don't told you. So that's, yeah. He already know. Daddy, you you, you just trying to feed me some bull skit right now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, be both be straight with me. Know, let me know where I came from. But Ghost is like, you know, I'm trying to shield you from all this and give you a better life and da da da. And we that's, get that. that sounds all good and everything, but it's still good for a kid to know exactly where they came from. That's your because he do know. Yeah, because he know and he's in the middle of it. So not only he know, he in the position that you try to hide him from. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, be, be straight with him. So then later on the episode, we see that he didn't even make it to the birthday they party because he was at the truth doing the event and and drunk and drunk so he come back home all stumbling on the house falling all on the couch he got the joy that he bought in his hand so he give Tariq because i got your birthday present Teresa. and it was like Ugh. and so then they get into a little scuffle because Tariq want to know the truth you need to tell me the truth and Tariq was like i don't want any of this stuff and he was like, Raina, you know, might have, you know, why this stuff, but me, I don't need none of this stuff. I just need you to tell me the truth. I said, I actually felt bad for Tariq this yeah. episode. Because his mama ain't, well, she ain't been feeling him this whole time. But she has little bouts where yeah. she, she, you know, she loves her son, but all of this boost is really his fault. Um, well, yeah. it's, it's everybody's fault, to be honest. Yeah. And then they had an argument. And he asked, well, would you have rather it be me that was killed than Raina? And Tasha couldn't answer. She didn't answer. She didn't yeah, answer. I was like, why she didn't answer that? I said, there's a lot going on with this poor yeah. boy right now. Yeah. Then they had the cake mess up. Yeah. Where the um baker was like, oh, Saint, this time of year again, two cakes. She was like, no, just the strawberry. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I, I caught it, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, you know, stereotypically, strawberry for the for the girl, chocolate for, for the, the boy. boy. Yeah. And I said, okay, maybe it's not. When they opened that cake at the table, oh man, and it said Happy Birthday, Raina, and Tariq's cake was gone. That was like a twofold blow right there. Yeah. It was like, okay, now we have this constant reminder that my sister isn't here, and then buck my cake. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I was like, God, yeah. don't. So yeah, I, 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 he, you know, he tried to smooth it over when he went to the bathroom. He tried to. He's like, it, it don't even matter about the cake. But it, it matter. But when he like you said when he asked that question about would you rather for me to be dead, she didn't answer him. I was like, man, that's that's deep right there. She that's didn't not. answer that question. She could have said no, no. But no. she walked away. She walked away. I'm like, do you? And then Tariq took her pills for sleeping yeah, pills. Yeah. Uh huh. So I'm like, oh God, is he gonna kill himself? So at this dinner, Tommy like, is Ghost gonna show up? <laughs> and, and Tasha was like, is he here? Like obviously he ain't here. So. So uh, Tommy said, well, Tariq, I got a gift for you. And it's outside. I was like, wait a minute, did he, got a, did he get him a car? I said, last time he got a gift, he got some. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so they proceed, proceeds to ride down the road, and Tariq is flying. I said, driving like a granddaddy, though. You know, <laughs> you know. I said, his first time driving you know, on the streets of New York. And he wide open driving like this. I don't know when I first started driving, I, I <laughs> You know, you had to lean a little bit with it. No, nah, I, I did it the right way. <laughs> you know, like a Randy, too. I was leaning with it. You know, I had to be cool. But, uh, so he told Tariq, go ahead and pull over right here. And he said, Tariq, I knew it was you that gave, that snitched and told Dre that we were trying to kill him. Why did you do it? Because he said, because Dre let me know the information about uh, Ray Ray. So I was pretty much paying it back. But he was like, Tom was like, but family first. 
But he was like, I was just being loyal to the guy who was being loyal to me. So Tommy pretty much let him get away with it, start the car up, then went he back really to the He really didn't let him get away with it. Con he gave him a lesson in street one-on-one -on -one and yeah. basically told him what you thought you knew, you don't know, skip. And before you do something else like yeah. this, realize that there's people lives on the line don't touch nothing that we put in position he mm -hmm. said because of that my I life is skit. my life is fucked up he said i'm gonna get got for this at some point by and some real scary people <laughs> real scary people you <laughs> I'm know like you scared of somebody <laughs> and i said oh the time it was like no 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 what you thought you knew you didn't know and the person you trying to protect is actually the person that put you in your sister in harm's way exactly i said oh skit exactly so on top of that while they was at the birthday party, freaking the feds came in there looking for Ta um, Tasha's gun and um, the girl Bianca was present. You know, is her name Bianca? Is it Bianca or Blanca? Blanca. Blanca, yeah, Blanca. We got Stop right. typing. Uh -huh. <laughs> came in there. So Tasha was like, um, that gun was reported stolen months ago. So he was like, go ahead and check that out. So the officer called and checked it out. It cleared. But at that time, Silver was there. Wait a minute. Silver walked into the, their house and tried to kiss Tasha. Oh, yeah. And they was real uh, lovey lovey. Yeah. And, and the mama was like, Um, your kid? Um, she she's don't give here. A bug. Yeah, she don't care. Yeah, I, I, I said, You disrespectful. You need to let them sleeping pills go because you ain't thinking right between them sleeping pills and dealing with was the Was it some bald? <laughs> they must. <laughs> hey, something. No, I got to go back to that part. Listen, when that guy doing Kendra Lamar. <laughs> when when Kanan was about to kill him, because you know Kanan don't use them up for what he needed him to use them up for, then lead him to the Spanish guys. He gonna turn his back on him, and Kendra Lamar knew that he was about to get got, mm -hmm. about to get shot. He turned around, and Kanan kind of looked at him like he had a heart. He was like, you know what? <laughs> no, Kendra said, "Do you not have any friends? Are you lonely?" Can you not connect with your family? Are you empty inside? Well, some Bolta <laughs> is the medicine for you. I said, you know what? He was asking if was he a vegan. He was like, you know, I tried being a vegan, but I couldn't eat no mm. He said, oh, you're not saying Bolta. But it, actually, but it actually looked like he was starting to get through the cane, too. And then he did that for the so kid. Bolta some is Bolta. the medicine for you. <laughs> Side effects could be. I said, Kendrick, stop with your foolishness. <laughs> <sighs> he saved the freaking episode for me. Yeah, that was yeah, that was so funny. But man, Blanca, man, got them. Um, Kendra, you did that skit, man. I said Kendra's the only guy that can play a crackhead, <clears throat> can give you advice, yeah, and tell you the warning signs of a medication. About the God, FDA. no. But you know what? He kind of brought back in that Lobo um, humor back in. Give us a little yeah. bit of laugh. That's what he did for us, man. Yeah. That's what I appreciate because we do miss Lobo stuff. Let me tell you something somebody said in the comments. And I said, you know what you got doing right? They said the racism in this guy doing show is so prevalent. Huh. They was like, all the drug lords hate black people. Yeah. They always saying black skit. Yup. <laughs> I said, you yep. right. You sure not right about that. So did y'all check out that when Blanca went ahead and um, called that call in to make sure that what Tasha was saying about her gun was the truth, the truth, the truth. She had that little smirk on her face because yeah. you know last week she met with the IT guy. That's why I didn't touch on it last week. I knew it was going to come up again. She met with the IT guy and the IT guy was basically letting her know that uh, somebody else did have access to my password. Yeah. She knows that something has been tainted with Exactly. They know that this gun is a vital part of this um of this case. Yep. She's already on her <clears throat> tail, and now all of a sudden, the is gun is is um stolen. For the stolen, and the, and like you said, the records are stolen. And the ballistics are gone. God. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Blanca she, is gonna get she, Angela's tail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She got it in for her. So then we see one part in the episode. Angela gives a call over to um Proctor and say, Hey, hey, you you want to practice being a lawyer again? He said, you know I want to be a lawyer That's again. That's all I want to do. So you do something for me, we're going to get you back in. So then we see uh, him and Tommy up underneath his bridge, and here come Angela. He was like, Tommy was like, what, what is this skit right here? What is this setup right here? So Angela comes along and say, I knew that you are a part of the, the Jimenez cartel, and you do and this and looking this at her and like, that. And, you whatever. Know, <laughs> and she was like, if you um, pretty much snitch on them, 
I can get you a, uh, immunity. Everybody's getting immunity. God darn it. Ain't a jail me after. Yeah. So, you know Tommy, he ain't about to snitch on nobody. I don't care. It could get him off, but he ain't about to roll over nobody. He, got, he, he loyal cat. And her, and her story is off. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't completely true because he want, he hadn't even been working with them like that. Mm -mm. Um, So, Angela goes to pull off the got on track off his car. He was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> He was like you. She was like you've been tracked, and so they left that scene. Then we see another scene. Hold up, that thing slid across that wall right there. We gonna leave that there. That thing slid right there on that wall. It scared the life out. A while ago, I looked at it and I said, "It didn't move just now." <laughs> we got a um, what is that? A curtain rod. Oh yeah. That we need to um put in the trash, and it just kind of just been doing like this the whole time I've been sitting over here. <laughs> so if y'all see me looking over there, that's what that was. <laughs> So then we see his, um, Tommy end up going to um, Angela's house because she know that he want that she, he she wanted him in there it's bad. So he said, "Give me that tracker, and if you want him in, give me that tracker." So she give him the tracker. So I don't know if he about to go and take that tracker and put it on their vehicles, on the airplane, or in somebody's purse, or what? I was laughing because. He knew where she lived at. She didn't know he knew where she yeah. lived at. And even so, he said, oh, I like when you had that plant over there rather than over there. And she was like, like uh-huh. What the hell? He said, I got my eyes on you. He said, just like I know you just put that freaking gun in your in your back, too. He said, it's cool, though. Give me what I need. Yep. And I'll give you what you need. But I've been watching you this whole time. I said, Tom, yep. you better come on with it. Exactly. So then we see um, Ghost over with the pastor. Pastor dropped some good nuggets on him because he's trying to figure out what in the world is going on. He he don't trust God right now, and it's God's fault all this is going on. And the pastor gave him some real good advice. And the pastor was like, out of all of this, what's the end game? What, what you trying to get out of all this? And Ghost was like, I just want to be a better man. But he, he made been, him take responsibility <clears throat> for, for his all own stuff. Mm -hmm. He was like, but what did you do? Yeah. What was your part to play in this? Mm -hmm. And he was like, uh, uh, uh. uh, uh yep. And then being a better man led him to Angela's house. To over again. Angela's house. See, I was like, this is where majority of all this bullshit done started. Because the pastor said, when did this begin? Yeah. So I wonder, did he go over there to try to make it right from that point? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe because it looked like to me he wanted some puss. Well, get and it she so wanted we some can... ding a -ling. Get That it. would look like to me the way they were looking at look, each other. Get it so we can move on. Yeah, please. But we did forget to talk about um this one part. That when Tamika... And um, Angela, Angela presented Tamika with the. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They've been working on what's the name, Sax and Sax and Donovan and um and, and all this other stuff. Long story short, Tamika knew everything. Yeah. But she told Angela this one good thing, and I said, "Ooh, that's good." She said, "You know what? I love it. you. I'm um, having you on the team." Yeah. But when we hired you, I also took into consideration your weaknesses. And I have to manage them as such. So yeah. basically she told her, I, I couldn't let you, you know yeah. what was going on. But uh, just know that I know what's going on. Exactly. And I said, oh, so Angela, what you thought you knew, you really don't know. Yeah, and Tasha, exactly. Tamika already knew it. But uh -huh. this is the part that tripped me out. Tamika didn't authorize what they were doing with the Teresa thing. But she told um, Sax and Ma, if you don't hurry mm -hmm. up and wrap this skit up. By the end of the week. I'm cases close. Cases I'm closing close. the case. Yeah. I said, oh, oh. So, so we know all of this going on now. But then Donovan, I told you, I think Donovan is going to be the one that's going to take Angela down. Uh -huh. Donovan was the one who told Tamika, say, hey, she ordered me to get all the files from Mom um, Blanca. Yeah. So basically, watch this half of Exactly. And Tamika says, so my suspicions about her are either going to be correct or not. Mm. Donovan looked at her like, uh -huh. you, you better go ahead and um, wrap that up because she going to take this organization, she going to take this freaking, um, take our um, division down if she, if she don't get right. Exactly. Because she, she corrupt. Yes, she is. Very corrupt. Yep. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, I'm on my way to a baby shower, so my phone is like, um, time to go. go. <laughs> straight, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two, two down. down. Holla.